Hey guys, so I'm just sitting here in my garage and waiting for my daughter to wake up. So it is um, about 9 a.m. She woke up this morning at 5, crying. Her stomach is in pain all the time. She can't sleep through the night anymore because her stomach's been going through pain. I've been trying to change things in her diet that maybe were upset in her stomach. I can't seem to win. Um, this morning, she got up at 5. I, she wouldn't eat no food. I made her breakfast. Even those really good little organic biscuits that they can that they suck on that are like thinner than Farley cookies for like little infants that don't have teeth yet well anyway usually she loves those she wasn't having it today um out of a six ounce bubba i a bottle with formula i got her to drink maybe two two and a half and that was within two hours so let's say that I got that ready. That's just even from six till eight. Let's just say that's, you know, it's a little bit off with times. But anyway, my time factor is kind of freaking out because I'm thinking. So she ate two ounces of food, of, of formula. As soon as she woke up, I, I changed her diaper. She, she likes to go to the bathroom in a nice clean diaper. So I clean, I changed her diaper. A couple of minutes later, she diarrhea. Um, I cleaned her up. I tried feeding her. Her I tried today to squish Farley cookies in with formula instead of her pureed fruit with cereal that I normally do. <clears throat> um, she wasn't feeling that. Um, oh my god, my heart's just kind of like beating outside my chest. So, she just, she wakes up screaming. She's had two diarrheas this morning, um, pretty much 15 minutes apart, so basically back to back, and she isn't eating. So, the number one thing that I'm seeing online with coronavirus is upset stomach in children, and it's talking about diarrhea. Um, I haven't witnessed her with a fever. My mom said that yesterday she checked and she had a minor fever and she gave her some baby Tylenol. She's been living off baby Tylenol, which I also don't think is the best thing either because obviously there's something else wrong. Um, I have been in quarantine really well, but we do share a common space with our grandparents and I find maybe that my father goes out a little bit too much, so you never know what he's bringing in. It's not my daughter, it's not me, but I'm thinking now there's got to be something more serious going on. Would you think that gastrointestinal issues I started noticing but it's all been since the coronavirus so am I just trying not to jump to conclusion that's why I'm saying relax or you as a parent would you be saying get your ass to the hospital right now so I'm gonna post this please get back to me